lovelies, welcome back. My name is Tejo Avani, and today is day seven of seven days of a TZ Valentine. Yes, it is the last day. We finally made it. And today we have a super exciting DIY. We are making this like crystal fringe dress that I saw like all over Instagram. I think like all of the Instagram boutiques got a dress like that. So of course I had to make my own. I also apologize for this video coming out a day late. I had some technical difficulties. So I'm sorry that this video is late, but it's still a TZ Valentine. So let's get it popping. If you would like to know how to create this crystal fringe dress that looks super bougie and super luxury, please keep on watching. So these are all the timestamps. So you know what's where and you can jump to any part that you want to and all of that good stuff. So now these are the materials that you'll need. You will need one single row crystal trim, like a whole spool or about two spools, double row or two row crystal trim as well for the straps, scissors, a white thread or whatever color thread that your dress is, and also sewing like hand sewing needles, measuring tape and a ruler, sewing straight pins, and iron and also hemming tape. And last but certainly not least, you'll also need a dress. So now let's get on to this DIY. So first what we're going to do is we're going to put on the dress and measure our, how long we want our straps to be. So I'm going to take the measuring tape and pretty much measure from like the tip point from when the, the strap begins all the way to the back of the dress where the strap ends. And make sure that if you buy the same dress that I'm getting to make sure that the straps fit your body first before you measure. So I'm just gonna take my measuring tape and measure from the beginning of the strap all the way to the back. And for me, that's about um, 15 inches. And it's also easy to do this in the mirror as well. So now we are going to draft the slit of the dress and we're going to take a pencil as well and mark exactly where we want the middle of the slit to lay, which is usually like almost like slightly off center of your thigh. And then you're going to measure with the ruler up how high you want your slit to go. For me, I believe it was about either seven to nine inches. And then I marked that point. So then we're going to draw a line connecting those two points together. like that and then we are going to measure about like I think two and a half inches out from that bottom point um, to mark the width of the slit so I'm going to mark two and a half inches on either side of that like line that we just drew on the bottom and then from the, those points that we just marked we're going to connect that to the top point of the slit making a triangle And so once we're finished with that, we pretty much have the outline of the slit. It should look like a triangle. So now moving on, I have, I took off the dress and laid it down and that's what your slit draft should look like. I have it in two different colors because I had to redraw it. But now we're going to take our scissors and I'm not going to cut right directly on the line. I'm going to cut about uh, a quarter inch inwards. Uh, to ha pretty much add seam allowance to it because we're going to fold the raw edges back. I'm going to cut a little bit more of a slit so it'll be easier to fold the raw edges back. So at the top of that triangle, like I cut a little bit more of a straight line uh, to make sure that you can fo fold the raw edges back easier. So after we do that, we're going to flip the dress inside out, take our hemming tape, and I'm going to pretty much lie some hemming tape about a quarter inch away from that raw edge at that seam allowance line and just cut pieces to fit that triangle. And so I'm using hemming tape for two reasons. Reason number one is to minimize as much sewing as possible and also to stabilize that slit seam so it has more support to hold all that crystal fringe. So now what we're going to do is fold that raw edge back a quarter inch and pin it with the hemming tape in that seam allowance fold. So pretty much like sandwiching the fabric and the, and the hem tape together like a hot dog. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going to grab my iron and I think I set it on like the cotton setting and I'm going to iron it. But first for safety reasons and to make sure I don't burn my dress, I'm just going to stuff a pillowcase in between the layers of the dress. So the pretty much the front and the back just to make sure I don't burn nothing or, or don't iron any imprints that don't need to be there. So I'm going to iron the seam allowance, pretty much fusing, you know, the fabric together, activating the adhesive of the hemming tape. Just make sure that you really go over and really iron and press down, making sure that the hemming tape activates. And then also I took out the pins while I was ironing as well, just to make sure that I got in all the crooks and crevices. And so this is what your slit should look like. It should look nice and clean and crisp. And so now we are going to move on to cutting the crystal trim. So now I'm going to take my single row crystal trim and I'm going to cut each and every strand of crystal trim that's on my dress and I'm going to cut it out about three and a half inches long and pretty much repeat that until two spools of crystal trim are completely gone so it's a lot of strands now it's easier uh, if you don't have the time to do all that but you can just buy like crystal fringe like trim from Etsy I'll link it down below instead and you just sew the top of it onto the slit but for me, I was on a budget, number one. And number two, uh, I already had this crystal trim in my inventory, so I just decided to use it. But if you can get the crystal fringe trim to cut down on time and labor, it's just that it is a little bit more expensive. I think it's like $45 for a yard. So um, that's why I opted to do this manual fringe situation. And this is what I got so far. You'll definitely need like three times the amount of this but that's what I cut out in my first go at it. So now I'm going to thread my needle and get to sewing. So those are all my crystal trim pieces. You, like I said, you need a lot more. And so what I'm going to do uh, to sew this on, cause I tried gluing and it didn't work. <laughs> so I'm going to start in the middle and then go down one side and then go down the other side. So I'm going to go from underneath from the wrong side into the right side underneath the fabric and sew through. And then I'm going to take a piece of crystal trim and put it right next to that um, stitch. And then I'm going to go back down and sew back through the fabric, pretty much creating this loop that will land in between the first and second rhinestone of the crystal trim, pretty much sewing it together and holding it to the fabric. And so that's like the first version of me doing it, but I did a super duper easier way of doing it. So anyway, I'm going to sew up through the fabric from the wrong side into the right side. Then um, what I do is sew back down creating that loop, then stick the crystal trim in between that loop and then pull to make sure that the thread lands in between the first and second rhinestone of the trim. So hooking it onto the fabric pretty much. And it's re really, really easy uh, once you get the hang of it. And it's not as tedious, like you put on a movie or listen to your favorite music. Like I got a work music playlist uh, and it actually is really fun, especially when you put so much um, blood, sweat and tears into something. It really feels good that you made something yourself. So that's pretty much the technique I use. It's like a basic hand sewing stitch, you know, and just making sure that with that loop, instead of pulling it all the way through, you just stick the um, crystal trim in inside the loop and then pull and pull tight but not too tight to snap the thread but tight enough to make sure that the thread doesn't go like undone or like you know any crystal trim pops out of the stitch so i pretty much do that for like another like two hours three hours uh to create this crystal trim slit and also one thing i had i wanted to add is that i did try to glue the crystal trim on but like literally it just wasn't working out for me and I figured it was just gonna be way messier and still the same amount of headache uh, as sewing it so I just figured just to you know just sew it and just suck it up and just deal with it but I did try to glue it and it just wasn't working out for me personally so I will see you back to do the straps but I'll let music play for a lot a little bit I won't make you guys suffer through seeing me do the whole thing so 
So that is what it's looking like so far. And then this is what it looks like when it's finished. So now we're moving on to the straps. I busted out my ruler again and I'm taking my two row crystal trim. And for me, I'm gonna measure out my strap measurement, which is 15 inches, but make sure that you cut it at the right place because I'm about to show you. But the two row crystal trim that at least I have, like it's connected like every two to three pairs. So you see how it separates like that, but two pairs down, it's like actually connected together and doesn't split like that. So when you cut those off, let the loose ones, the split ones off, then you see that it actually doesn't split anymore. So it's like every two to three crystals, like it's actually like, you know, fused together. So make sure you cut at that point. So I'm cutting out my other piece and now we're gonna move on to attaching these crystal trims onto the dress. So now we've cut out our straps and we're going to attach it to the dress. So we're gonna take the dress and cut off the straps pretty much, just slice them off, get rid of them, we don't need them no more. Then we're gonna take our crystal trim and place it pretty much at that point like of that little triangle thing where the strap used to be and hand sew it onto the dress with the same white thread and um, sewing needle. And it's pretty much the same thing. You go through the dress and through the middle of the crystal trim and then you, you know, go back through the other side. Pretty much like a regular hand sewing technique, just however you can um, tack it down, just tack it down and just make sure that it's super secure. I think I like did like 20 stitches or something like that. It was a lot of stitches, <laughs> but I just really made sure that it was strong and secure, especially for me, you know, I'm big chested. So I need like extra support and make sure that, you know, everything can carry my weight. And then right now I'm knotting it. Uh, you know, I knotted about three times and I think that's pretty good. If you want to reinforce it with putting some like fabric glue to really make sure that the stitch doesn't break, then you can. I'll probably do that off camera. Then you're going to flip to the back and then pretty much attach the, do the same method and attach it at the same place that strap was attached to at the back and do the same thing, sew it the same way. Uh, and just make sure that the crystals are facing outward instead of inward because uh, then you'll have a twisted strap. So make sure that, you know, the crystals are facing the right way when you're sewing the back down. Once we finish that, you do that for the other strap and then we're pretty much done with the dress. So now we're finished with the dress and I'm so freaking happy with the way it came out. It's so beautiful and it's just like, you know, anything with crystals in me, like I'm feeling it, like I'm here for it. And I feel like it's like the perfect super duper extra Valentine's Day dress. And you know, it's just really cute. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seven days of a TZ Valentine. I surely had fun doing it. And you know, just let me know your thoughts. Let me know if I should continue to do it. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and I will see you next video. So love yourself and see you later, alligator. Mwah.